Happy Monday, crafty friends. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Bestie is on the phone line. We got Hi. back from our trip, and y'all, yep. while we were there having our adventures, we discovered there was going to be a rubber stamp show. Yes. We've never oh been to one. There's never been one anywhere around where we live. Right. So, on the way out, Friday, we went by. Yeah. And this is what I got. Some I of what got, I got, because some of... She got, but not, every, not everything, but I got some of the same stuff. Yeah, I have a few things that I got that weren't in here. They were... Um, like little stuff you put in shaker mixes. But I've already got them, you know, in my boxes. And I hadn't had this put up yet. So, because I, I wanted to show it and then I wanted to use it too. Okay. So, the very first booth we went to was called Too Much Fun Rubber Stamps. And they had some of the coolest rubber stamps ever. So, this is a vintage stove. And I just absolutely loved it. So, I got it. Then they had all these kinds of doors. Okay, so this is like a screen door. And they had big ones, and they had different styles. But I kind of like this one. And then they had the screen that you could get to go behind it. Okay, so this is the door. This is the die that cuts out that area and behind it. And then this is the screen that you put in there. And it's so cute. And the reason I got this size is because it will still fit on an A2 card. And the others were really cute, but they were bigger than that. And Whoops. oh my! Sorry. And I just didn't think they would fit, so so I got I, I opted for the smaller one. And then this is a top hat, and Bestie was like, "What do you want that for?" And I said, "Girl, I can turn that thing up like this. I can I can cut a little slit in it right there, and put flowers in it. I can put pumpkins in it. I can put a rabbit coming out of it." I can put Holly on the band. I can make it for a wow. snowman. She was like, okay, okay. <laughs> wow. Do I ever doubt <laughs> that you can come up with something? Wow. She was like, I, I top it? I was like, oh, yes. Oh, yes. Okay, so I got that. And then I got this bag for pretty much the same reason. You know, what can't you do with a bag? And, I, you know, you yeah. can put whatever you want to behind it. It It is the um imagery on it when it is stamped out it i mean it looks like there's folds right here you know it's it's really well done so again they had huge ones but this is the size that i got so so it could still go on the card front if i want it to so i got that and a bucket you of know course. Sand purposes, got to have a bucket. Sand purposes, snowball purposes, Easter egg purposes, whatever you want to put in it, you know, a thing. Okay, and then this window. Now, this window is pretty wide, but still, it's five and a half wide, so it'll go on an A2, and... They had, they had them made up all kinds of ways. Um, obviously, you could stamp some, stamp anything you wanted in there. But they also had these vintage, and y'all know how I feel about vintage. Um, let's see, what are they called? Well, vintage images. That's what we're going to call them. And they're printed on um, glossy cardstock or photograph paper. I'm not sure. But anyway, you get two sets of them in each package. And y'all know I'm a fool for vintage. So, see, Santa would fit in that window. How stinking cute. So, anyway, I got that set. I got these snowmen. You know, I had to get me some Halloween ones because, you know. And then I had to get me some little Easter ones. <laughs> I might even put one of these little ducks with the bucket. Oh, you just, I don't know. The ideas are everywhere. Everywhere. Okay. Uh, okay, so that, oh no. Then I saw these. And I know y'all are thinking, that is the grossest thing I've ever seen. And it is. They look like real flies. There's even green ones. But they were calling me. 
I said, I don't know. I'll, I can make something with them. I, I never saw them uh, at the place. Yeah, and she was like, you bought some flies? I said, yes, I did. <laughs> so, so, I know y'all all know who Gina Marie Designs is. So, she was there. She herself was there. And, we met her. Yeah, we did. And we got to talking to her. And little did we know that she used to live in Michigan, and she hated it there. So they bought a place in um, Corinth, yeah. Mississippi, which is just like, you know, not far from here at all, a farm. And that's where they're based out of now. And, y'all, she was just as sweet as she could be. Anyway, she said they own a big farm, and she said they make peach, canned peaches and canned blueberries, I think. And she said, anytime you want to come by, we were like, what? So, yeah. she, you know, besides the fact that she has amazing things, you know, and at good prices, she's just, she's just like us. It was, she, she was so sweet. So, and look what I found. A fly swatter. <laughs> yes. And it has a fly, fly, but you know what? Yep, 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 yep. Had to have them with the flies. Yeah, and there's the what happens when they get slapped. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I found that there. I found this little rake there, which I thought, you know, I don't make that I many. I never did find me a rake. No, we didn't. And we were going to cut you some out. Yep. We and still we can didn't. when you come back in November. Um, I'm coming back up there. Yep. <laughs> so I thought that was awesome. And she, there was tons of, she had tons of stuff. Um, she also had these deep red. She had some, she had like, there were boxes of these and I think these were like two fifty or something, but look at those little penguins. They're so stinking cute. So I got those two. And then she had a thing of K and company and these I think were $2 and it's borders and there's so many in here and you know, Hay and Company has been around for a long time, and I, from what I understand, they're not making stuff anymore. See, there's candy corns, there's cats, there's candy. You know, it's just a good thing to have, you know, to add on to a card or, you know, a project, whatever. You could actually cut these pumpkins apart. You could actually cut these apart. And, of course, the candy corn. Um, but anyway, yeah, like that. So, um, that and those little fibers, let's see, if I can show you what I'm talking about. I'm, I'm working on the, uh, huh, I'm working on the organization of my, here's some, let's see. There are these, okay, here's some. They're these, um, I don't know what you call them, but anyway, they were, they were on clearance at this place, one of the booths, and I was like, oh, that's so, so pretty. So, I got yellow and like a, a gold that's iridescent, only problem is, you know, they go everywhere. Um, I got the colors that they had, um, it was three or four. Yeah, one of everything they had. Yeah. I would have loved to have seen some red in that. Wouldn't that be cool? Or some orange. But like I said, I got silver and gold and then yellow. And I think I got a pink color. Um, but anywho, that was so much fun. And of course, we went to the um, scrapbook store up there. And we also... Oh, yeah. <coughs> excuse me. We also went to one where... Oh, the girl, um, uh, I've already put that up. The girl had a booth, had a booth there, but she had a store in Knoxville that was in an old vintage house. And so we stopped by there on the way home. It was right off the interstate. And, um, got, we both got one of these. I think Bestie got something else too, but I just got these. You're supposed, you know, when you emboss something, you're supposed to be able to hold it and it won't burn your fingers. <laughs> it's I got that. Uh, helpy hands. Helpy hands. Holes. 
the small homes, bigger homes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, um, and, and we went to a scrap book store in Pigeon Forge that had the clearance store next to it. Yeah, yep. And I'll show you, I'll just show you a few papers I got there. Oh, eyeballs, what? I mean, what a deal, pickle. Yeah. And the, and the clearance. I got a little bit of, um, Luna. I got a little bit of Luna. You know, I don't work a whole lot with pastels, but I really did like that. And then I got these two pieces of um, handmade paper that I thought were really cool. And then they had the simple stories. And I, you know, vintage jamming, vintage jamming. And this is, it's a few things that are mixed up that I just liked it. You know. You noticing a thing here? Hmm. I did get some Christmas too. Oh, at the um, scrapbook place, Bessie and I split a 12 by 12 pad of Candy Christmas by Craft Consortium. Oh, it's so stinking cute. Hey, Chuck, I'm going to turn off my little baby girls here. Okay. Hey, baby. Alrighty. Hang up. Uh, Alright, bye. Uh, so, anyway, this is... These are the selections there um, that I got. Look at this. This is like velvet. And it looks like it's on adhesive, but I think that's just what it's stuck to. Oh, I'm going to make something fun with that. So, yes, you know, Halloween. I did get other stuff too, but look at that. Look at these kitties. This was not a Halloween paper, but in my mind, yeah, it looked like it was. That's, I think that's doodle, yeah, that's doodle bug. Look at these colors. Oh, love it. Oh, that was already in my stash. But I, because I have my Halloween stuff over here. Um, so anyway, yes, we had a fantastic time. We only actually crafted one day. Because we went to the aquarium, we went to Alcatraz, um, we went and down to uh, Metcalf Bottoms um, picnic area and went down to the um, the Smoky Mountain River, uh, well, I can't even think of, Little Pigeon River, and we were, we were kind of... Uh, my, my mom and dad always loved to go up there, and I told the kids that that was one of the things we always did when we were kids was, you know, we got in the in the water, those big rocks, and we hunted crawdads and had a big time. And let me tell you, Lily is 11. We weren't there 30 seconds, and she had caught a crawdad that was that long. It was incredible. So, anyway, we, we just had so much fun. And, um, and now... I'm home, and I get to play, because Bestie and I were like, we're going to let them go do their thing, you know, and then we'll probably hang around and craft, but then it got the best of us, and we thought we might be missing something, so, <laughs> so we went too, and we're glad we did, because we had so much fun, so anywho, I wanted to come on and share that with you, and y'all be seeing these things coming up in projects, and um, the name of this stamp company is Too Much Fun Rubber Stamps, and you can go online, but if you're interested. But anywho, thanks for watching and we will see you guys soon. Love y'all. Blessings.